can let the world know what you did. So P. Diddy uh, broke uh, Justin Bieber's virginity. Yes, absolutely. A lot of things. So then you have all these people around me just kind of hanging on, wanting stuff from me. She's is yours. You, you know, when you get 16, you got to go. I'm good to go. Yeah. All right. In a shocking turn of events, Kim Porter's sister, Tamia Porter, has emerged from the shadows to spill the tea on Diddy's alleged misdeeds with young artists, and it seems like no one is safe from her claims, not even the pop sensation, Justin Bieber. Buckle up, because this tale is about to take you on a wild ride through the world of secrets and scandals. During a recent interview that had jaws dropping left and right, Kim Porter's sister laid out a series of jaw-dropping accusations against the hip-hop mogul Diddy. According to her, there's more to Diddy's glamorous facade than meets the eye. She claimed that he engaged in unspeakable acts with young and impressionable artists, and one of those artists just happened to be none other than the heartthrob Justin Bieber himself. But that's not all. The plot thickens. The interview took a dramatic twist when Tamiya revealed that Diddy had allegedly silenced Kim in the past. Why, you ask? Well, it turns out that Kim had reportedly threatened to expose Diddy's deep, dark secrets in a tell-all book that would have undoubtedly sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry. Could this be the reason behind Diddy's alleged efforts to keep her quiet? Hold on to your hats, because the revelations didn't stop there. The sister then went on to drop a bombshell, suggesting that Diddy might have had a hand in the untimely deaths of two iconic rap legends, Tupac Shakur and Notorious Big. Whether it's conspiracy theories or shocking truths, this claim certainly adds an extra layer of mystery and intrigue to the already tangled web of allegations. And now, let's talk about the juicy details involving none other than Justin Bieber. Tamia didn't mince her words as she delved into the dark side of the entertainment world. She alleged that Diddy had allegedly committed acts that are beyond words. Acts that reportedly involved the young and impressionable Justin Bieber. If that wasn't enough, the sister claimed that Diddy had allegedly taken advantage of Bieber's innocence, even going so far as to allege that Diddy was responsible for taking Justin's V-card. So P. Diddy uh, broke uh, Justin Bieber's virginity? Yes, absolutely. But hold on a minute, haven't we heard something a bit conflicting about Bieber's first time? Flashback to 2011, when the pop sensation Justin Bieber and the enchanting Selena Gomez were the ultimate power couple. Their romance was the talk of the town, and as their relationship progressed, rumors swirled about the significant milestone they supposedly reached together. It was said that they consummated their love in 2011, with Bieber reportedly sharing some rather boastful words with a friend. I knew she was in love with me when she gave me her V-card. Here's where the plot takes a surprising turn. A source close to the on-again, off-again couple spilled the beans exclusively to Radar Online about their supposed first-time encounter. According to the insider, Bieber and Gomez embarked on a secret escapade to Palm Springs, California to embark on their romantic rendezvous. It was in the summer of 2011 they flew to Palm Springs for a couple days and had a super private place to stay, the source shared with Radar. What makes this revelation even more intriguing is the reason behind their hush-hush trip. Allegedly, the purpose of their secluded getaway was to mark a significant step in their relationship. The moment when Selena Gomez 100% willingly gave her consent to share an intimate experience with Bieber. The insider claimed the purpose of the trip was 100% because Selena finally said yes to having sex with him. They agreed because they both said they were in love. In any case, fans believe there is some truth to Tamiya's allegations. You see, back in the day, when Justin was just a fresh-faced 15-year-old with a budding music career, he spent a mysterious 48 hours with Diddy, and he documented it all in a bizarre YouTube video that's recently resurfaced. But what was the point of this two-day stint? Some people are speculating that it wasn't just a harmless hangout sesh and there might be something more sinister behind it. I mean, come on, what could they have been doing for two whole days? And the fact that Diddy can be seen making some shady promises to Justin in the video, like gifting him a fancy car on his 16th birthday, is seriously raising some eyebrows. What's more, Diddy can be seen licking his lips when he learns about Justin's age. Talk about creepy. She's is yours. You, you know, when you get 16, you got to go. I'm good to go. Yeah. To make matters worse, Diddy is 25 years older than Justin, which means he was 40 when this video was filmed. At the time, young Bieber probably didn't know what was happening, but as he got older, he started distancing himself from Diddy. Well, Diddy might have noticed this, since in another video he is seen questioning Justin about why he doesn't want to hang out anymore, and Justin looks visibly nervous in his presence. Starting to act different, huh? 
You, no, you, no. Ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and. Seeing Justin getting so rattled over the encounter only gives us more reason to speculate that Diddy actually did something to the poor boy. In fact, Diddy might have scarred Justin for life. People around Justin have noticed that he always seems to be struggling with deep unresolved trauma. What's more, a recent clip of him at Coachella with his wife Haley went viral, where she's seen comforting him. Fans were quick to comment on this, with one particular fan saying, Poor JB, no wonder he has mental health issues. He looks so innocent, excited and happy in the video, then later was nervous as hell, poor kid man. Another fan wrote, This is so sad. Diddy had one thing in mind with these young men. Diddy is so gross. Maybe this is why Justin ain't all there. Diddy clearly did a number on Justin, but what's even worse is that this is not the first time the rapper has traumatized a minor. Apparently, his first victim was Usher. Like Justin, Usher was thrown into the entertainment industry at a young age. When he was just 10 years old, he became part of an R&B group and later caught the eye of Bobby Brown's former bodyguard, AJ Alexander. Alexander introduced Usher to a representative from LaFace Records, and the rest is history. But when Usher's voice started dropping due to puberty, LaFace Records wanted to drop him from their label. That's when they sent Usher to New York to live with none other than Diddy himself. At just 14 years old, Usher attended what was referred to as Puffy's Flavor Camp. And in a 2004 interview with Rolling Stone, Usher revealed that Diddy introduced him to the adult lifestyle, and he witnessed some wild things at Diddy's house. Puff introduced me to a totally different set of ish. Sex, specifically. Sex is so hot in the industry, man. There was always girls around. You'd open a door and see somebody doing it or several people in a room having an orgy. You never knew what was going to happen. Usher also spilled the tea on The Howard Stern Show when he talked about his time at Diddy's Place. In a 2016 interview, he told Howard Stern that he truly learned what it meant to be famous after living with Puff Daddy for a year at the age of 14. I got a chance to see some things. I went there to see the lifestyle and I saw it. Usher said during his first Stern Show interview. In the same interview, Usher went on to reveal how Diddy would bring a bunch of women into a room with 14-year-old Usher to see if he would become nervous. 90s, do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, nah, not really. I Come mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, <laughs> and it was, but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. What's worse is that Puffy apparently rewarded Usher's cooperation by producing his first album. But after the debut didn't do as well commercially as expected, Puffy literally abandoned him. The rapper passed on being a part of Usher's second album called My Way, which went 6x platinum in the late 90s. However, when asked if there was any bad blood between them, Usher responded by saying, he was always a family member from afar, so I never felt a disconnection. I will always look at him like a brother. Besides that, in a recently resurfaced interview with Kevin Hart, Diddy let it slip that he and Usher used to sleep in the same bed when Diddy was 19, which means Usher was just 10 years old at the time. Off the guard stage, that's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause. So again, why is a 10-year-old sleeping in the same bed with someone who's not their family? Honestly, if this were a 10-year-old girl Diddy was talking about, the reactions would have been totally different. But somehow, people thought this was funny and kept making gay jokes about Diddy. However, it looks like people are now starting to wake up to the fact that the main issue here is not Diddy's sexuality. Literally, no one cares at this point whether he's gay or not. But allegations of manipulating boys and young men? Now that's creepy. In any case, although these allegations have not been confirmed, it's only a matter of time before fans have enough and decide to cancel Diddy. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye.